How's it going guys? So I'm getting ready to uh, do a hardwood uh, flooring project in this house and um, I've run into a little bit of a, an obstacle here that took me a bit to figure out how to how to deal with this and I think I've got a solution but I thought I'd go ahead and shoot a video because I'm sure I'm not the only one who, who's run into this. So um, we've got a hearth here with stone on it and you know obviously it's got a real irregular edge to the front so the only way I think to have this actually look good is to be able to tuck the hardwood underneath, underneath the stone hearth, but I wasn't sure how to cut it. So I found the, uh, this is a Roberts Long Neck Plus six inch jam saw that I picked up. It's actually made for cutting door jams, works really good for that. Actually, I've used it a bit and um, really happy with how well that works, but I'm gonna use that to hopefully try to cut this stone. I picked up a, uh, a diamond blade uh, and this is actually, I think, made for cutting like countertops, quartz, and um, granite and things. So I'm hoping it'll give me a fairly smooth finish. And it's got um, the saw actually has a has a dust port on it, and I got this adapter that fits fits onto my shop vac. It plugs in there nicely. I don't know how well it will actually pick up the dust. I'm sure. Usually dust collection is, you know, kind of a 50-50 proposition. So we're going to see how this goes. I haven't tried this yet, but I thought I'd turn the camera on so you guys can see. Like I said, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's run into this obstacle before. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get glasses and a face mask on, turn the saw, and we're going to do some cutting and see what happens. All right, so that worked pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know how I would have done that without the saw. I'll try to give you a little, well, here. I'll bring you down this way, but you can see that it made a nice clean cut under there. Worked out really well. I don't know how well the abrasive blade would have worked that came with the saw, but I think uh, spending, you know, 15 bucks or something on the diamond blade was the right thing to do. Now when we install the floor, we're gonna slide right under there and we'll have a nice finished edge, so worked out great. So again, it's the, uh, a little dusty now, but it's the Roberts Long Neck Plus Six Inch Jam Saw, is what it is. Um, I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in checking out. Um, I can't remember, I think it was, I'm sorry, I think it was around $150 maybe, something like that, maybe a little bit less, but I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out if you're interested. Um, Really handy saw. I don't know how else I would have dealt with this fireplace and works really well for, for door jams too. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.